So our next TSO question is square root of x. So we have given a description. Given on a non-negative integer x, we have to return the square root of x rounded down to the nearest integer. So we have given a non-negative integer. That means a positive integer. And we have to return the square root of x. And if we are not getting the square root of x, and if you are getting in the square root of x in point on double, a double format, like is uh, if you, for example, uh, you have given an integer x is 8, and whenever you try to get the square root, so it will not give the in round up format. So we will get like a 2.8 format uh, in double format. So we have to round it to the nearest integer. The return integer should be non negative as well. So it will be in positive format. So we have to uh, take that also. So you must not use the inbuilt uh, exponent function or operator. So we don't have to use the power function or multiply by 0.5. It will give the square root. But we don't want uh, that in. We don't have to use that in this question. And if whenever we try to get the result in uh, by using this function, so it will give in double format, the double data type. That means when if you get the uh, answer of 8, that is square root of 8, so it will give the answer is 2.8. So we have to get the nearest integer. So it will not give the correct result that question one. So that is why we have don't have to use this uh, function. So first example is x equal to 4. So square root of 4 is 2. So it will give direct answer if you use inbuilt function. But uh, we have to use our own logic to get the square root of 4. So we are going to use the binary search. In that, we will get the correct result for 4 also, for point also. So for second example, if you see the second example, so we will get the correct approach towards the binary search. So second example is a, uh, you have given x equal to 8. Then output is 2. But output is 2. But uh, the square root of 8 is 2.8. So we are uh, want uh, the nearest value. So it will 2. So, so we have to use the one approach that when we try to get the square root, so we have to save the lowest value and we have to check with the uh, after result, after the value. So if we are not getting the result uh, we want like a square root of 8, so we have to return the lowest value. So that is the condition here. And the constraints are uh, are starting with zero. So we have already given that all the x values are non-negative. So that means we are starting with zero. And the uh, highest uh, integer is 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So that is the case. So we have to consider that. So let's start with the first. So we are going to use binary search approach. To start with, I will take the first uh, low equal to zero because we want to start with a zero and i'm getting that highest value long i equal to x so because up to the x the ma uh, maximum value is present of square root of x so that is why i'm getting the high value and then i will store the answer in the law because if you multiply the uh, this value with uh, own so like a 2 to the, to the power 31 multiply by 2 to the power 31 so it will follow the range of long so that is why we have to store the values in long and we have to convert that value into int so that will convert that value and that will return the answer so that is the case and um, while so i will take this case after that so first i will Take the median, so that I will calculate the median. To calculate the median, we have to use this formula high plus low divided by 2. So it will give me the median value. In other languages, we have to use another approach because our range is large. So that is why we have to use another approach in other languages. But in Java, it will calculate correctly. But in other languages, we have to first uh, get the low. Then we have to um, subtract the high minus low divided by 2. 
this also we can use in java but uh, it is a more easy way so we uh, have to calculate the median value so i am going to use that after that i will take the first condition if my median multiply by median if i am getting x that means after multiply by itself if i am getting the x so i will return the return the square root because if you see the first example if i divide the 2 that is uh, from 0 to 4 so highest value is 4 so 4 plus 0 is 4 divided by 2 it will give 2 and 2 multiplied by 2 it will give 4 so i will directly return in integer format the mid so it will give me the uh, correct result and if that is if mid multiply by mid so i am getting the less value of less than x it means like uh, i am getting the the after multiply by 2 by 2 into 2 it we i am getting the 3 so i have to increase the level uh, from low to high so that means i have to check the after median value i have to check the value that are present in the uh, range of my uh, range uh, to get the my uh, x so if that is the case so i have to increase the low that is mid plus one so it will start from uh two uh, that is three two four so it will check in three to four i am getting uh, giving the just example if you see the second example so if i am getting uh, like a uh, a two and i need after four i am getting the correct answer so i have to uh, increase the uh, range from four to eight so that is why i am increase the uh, low value and i am also storing the answer that is in mid uh, that is in answer because i have to return the lowest integer that is the nearest integer so that is why i am storing that and if i am not uh, after increasing the low value and if i am not getting the uh, required result that is a uh, correct uh, square root so i will return the nearest value directly and if i am getting the highest value that is if you see uh this if i divided 8 by 2 that is uh, high is 8 plus 0 by 2 so it will give 4 and 4 into 4 it is 16 so it is getting greater than x so I have to reduce the, I have to check the range from 0 to 4 because the value is present in the 0 to 4. But if you check uh, the 4 to 8, it will give the answer by like uh, multiplying the mid into mid, it will give the greater than x. So that is why I have to reduce the higher value. So I will reduce higher value by 1, that is mid minus 1. So I will check 0 to 3 in the range and I will check the output and if this is the case so i will directly return in integer format answer and if you check so while low i am going to start with the low and i have to check up to the high up to the high so i will use equal to also because if uh, if you say the integer one so yeah, i have to start with the zero to one so i have to go to the one also the square root of one is also one so i have to check that also so that is why uh, less than or equal to and if you check the test cases so it will give me the correct result so for second example also it will give me the two and if you check the time complexity for first example it is o of 1 because you see i am getting first mid value that is 2 and i am fulfilling the first condition and directly returning the main answer so i don't want to i don't have to get, go to the another cases and i have to go to the loop it will directly stop the loop and it will return the result but for second example if you see i am getting first uh, mid value is 4 then i have to check and then i will pass in this case and then i have to reduce the high value so that will be 3 3 plus 0 is uh, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so i will multiply by 1.5 into 1.5 so 1.5 is uh, is 
is going to be 2.25 so that will be this so i will re uh, increase the my low value so the here the i am dividing the x by 2 so that will dividing like first i will uh, i will take the example that is 10 so i will divide by 2 so it will give me 5 so i am dividing that 2 that means after that i am not getting the square root of 10 so i am then i have divided this so it will dividing 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 format so the time complexity is log n so if you see uh, the log n means the x so if you can also see the log x the value of log x is it will give the correct time complexity so that is the thing and the space complexity is o of n o1 sorry o of 1 because we are not uh, storing the element in array or something else we are storing in the variable only so we are just updating that variable so o of 1 is the time complex uh, space complexity so i'm going to submit that If you see, I am getting accepted for all the test cases. It will beats 100% and also beats the memory. In memory also, I am beating the question. So all the test cases are passing. So thank you.